everybody. Crystal Langer here with Artistic Chris and I am back for another Monday mini. Um, today I think we are going to do a little boho painting. Boho paintings always remind me of kind of a feel of summer and I'm definitely ready for the warmer weather. So if you've landed on my YouTube channel here and um, you are looking to paint, that's awesome. This is a Monday mini, which means it's a painting in under 30 minutes. And I just want to take the time to tell you that it's absolutely 100% okay to take time for yourself to learn how to paint. Um, it's okay to take time for yourself to do anything that you want to do. So I think it's very important to get that message across. So if you've landed here and you're not even into painting, I want to give you permission to do something for yourself um, without feeling guilty for it and allow yourself at least 30 minutes a week to paint or do whatever you want. I would suggest 30 minutes a day, but if you absolutely can't and you're super busy because I know life is so crazy sometimes, at least allow yourself to land here in this moment, present over perfect, and paint something for yourself and feel proud of it without that guilt lingering that you did that instead of something that you feel is more productive because there's nothing more productive than self-care so that you can be your best for all those other really busy, important things you have to do for yourself and everybody else. So let's get started. We're gonna do a boho painting today. Um, and you know what? I don't know if I've ever even done a boho painting, but we're gonna give it a shot because it's present over perfect here and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna start, I have this vision in my head of kind of like pastel colors. I usually paint pretty vibrant, but um, I think we can still be colorful and fun without being vibrant all the time. So I'm going to get on my plate some colors and you can really do any colors you want. I am going to choose three different colors and I'm going to make them pastel. So I think I'm going to start with um, this light blue violet, which I tend to use a lot because I love it. <laughs> it speaks to me, so I use it a lot. So we're going to put that on our plate. And then I'm going to go with maybe like a brown color. So maybe like a, this is a raw umber. That there, and that looks pretty. And then I think I wanna do almost like a peachy color. So I don't have peach here. Let me see what I have. I have magenta and I have yellow, and I think together that would make a nice color. And if we add a little bit of white in there, it should really tone it down into a nice peach. So let's put some magenta on our plate. You could use any pink that you wanted to, and some yellow, or even orange, to make a nice uh, peachy color. And I'm gonna get some white on my plate. And we're going to just tone these colors down a bit. All right. So I'm going to take my, I have a filbert brush here, size eight, and I'm going to take and just tone these colors down to a nice pastel looking kind of color. So I'll start with my blue here, which is already kind of pastel, but I want it a little tiny bit lighter. I'm going to bring that in. And that looks nice and I'm gonna create a little shape here so you could always pencil it in first the only thing with penciling it in is I want to try to create no edges on the background so you're gonna see that pencil mark a little bit if you do pencil it in but what you could do is I'm not gonna do it because you're not gonna see it anyways from my camera but if you want to do it you would always pencil it in lightly and then erase a little bit and you'll have it lightly there but it won't be um, so dark that it's gonna take over the picture so I'm going to come in with just some crazy shape here and I'm just using my brush on a 90 degree angle right now just to get the edge kind of down of how I want this shape to be. And I'm going to fill this shape in with that color. 
color here. So just giving it a nice coat. I'm trying to put down a nice thin coat. We don't want to be, we don't want it to have any edges. We just kind of want it to be nice and smooth. We have our first shape down here. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix another pastel color. So maybe I'll do the brown next. I'm grabbing a little bit of that brown, some of this white. I'm just gonna tone it down maybe a little bit more. And we're gonna put in another shape here with this color. So it can touch or it doesn't have to touch. It can go over it a little bit. Um, we're really just exploring and having fun here. So whatever you wanna do, I'm just gonna go with whatever happens. So I'm gonna bring a shape kind of down this way here. Maybe it crosses over it a little bit. And I want the edge to be nice and smooth. So we don't really want to have any like dry paint kind of leaving an edge like we do when we dry brush. We just want a nice smooth edge if we can get that. And that's just by having enough paint on your brush while you're creating this edge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. And this is something that you can, you know, do on a multimedia paper. So I have a multimedia paper here size of 11 by 14 and then you can take and make almost like a collection of these like maybe you do three different types and you can frame them and hang them on your wall so you don't have to go out and buy art that's super expensive you can create it yourself hang it on your wall and then know that you know it's something that you created okay I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. And then I'm gonna mix these two colors together. So I have a little bit of magenta here. I have some yellow. I'm gonna mix them together. A little bit more yellow. I'm gonna throw some white in here and see what we get. So just like a nice light peachy color, maybe a little bit more yellow. And we can throw in another shape so we can have it kind of up here we don't have to have them all the same kind of shape I just want to create ones with round edges that are smooth looking for now but they don't all have to be exactly the same and I'm just gonna come up here I'm gonna put that in and just Paint that in. And now you can leave um, that there if you want. 
like where it looks a little bit darker just for like a kind of show that it's going over or you can paint another coat So I'm just gonna leave that like that for right now. I'm gonna clean out my brush again. And then you can decide if you wanna add any more colors. Um, I might add one more light yellow. Let's see, let me grab some yellow here. just like a pastel yellow and then we can bring in another shape we can put it wherever we want I'm gonna leave this down here I think I might just add one more tiny little cute shape here maybe just like a circle And then I think I'll just leave it. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this and make sure that my shapes are nice and dry. So once that's dry, we can come in and I'm gonna have a pencil here and I wanna put like a botanical leaf here. So I'm gonna draw it first with my pencil and then I'm actually gonna be using a gel pen today. So this is just a black gel pen, um, 0.7 tip on it. Instead of painting it in, it's just gonna give us a nice finer look um, than painting it. So we're gonna come in first and just make sure we get our leaf in here how we want. So I'm just gonna start down in this corner here and kind of come up. And you're not, you might not be able to see this as well as once I put the black on, but you'll be able to see it once I do that. And I'm gonna come right over top of my painting here, just like that. You know, just kind of a squiggly line. And then I wanna come in with some fun leaves here, so. doing some fun leaves and I'm just alternating them with a little stem I'm gonna leave that like that and then I'm gonna come in with my pen so we can come in and trace this That's why we want to make sure our paint is dry because we are going to be using our pen here and it's not going to work very well if our paint is wet on top of just us rubbing our hand through it would not be good so
And you can make your leaves any shape you want. So you can make really skinny ones. You can make them a bit thicker than this. You could have them with spiky edges. You can look up online under Google, look up botanical leaf clip art. You can kind of get a feel for what you want to create. Give you an idea before you get started. see how pretty this is starting to look and super super easy so anyone can draw blah or paint blobs on a paper here and our leaves are basically like two brackets So then you have a really super simple boho painting and you could continue on with this if you wanted to add, um, you know, maybe a little bit more design to your leaves. So if you wanted to come in and put, you know, maybe some, you put in a little bit of texture here. So say you wanted to bring this up, maybe you bring it up all the way and then you just add little lines all the way down and then you could take and do the opposite so in the space in between on the other side that just gives you also another different looking leaf so you could do that all the way down you could always alternate them and do maybe you know a few like that if you wanted to i'll do a few more here just to show you what it looks like We're just following the shape of the leaf. And so I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, but you could go ahead and do create it any way that you want. So feel free to give this a try. Um, you can share it with me on my Facebook page in the description. You can send me a picture if you'd like. Feel free if you enjoyed this tutorial to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notification um, so that you know when some more free paintings are coming in under 30 minutes. But this is a great one to get started with uh, if you are on a time restraint. Thank you so much. Also feel free to check out my other videos that are popping up here, up in this tutorial. Um, suggestions for you, videos exactly like this. So have a great day, everybody. See you soon.